Is God among us or not? Is God among us or not? The Israelites were complaining to Moses, we've been traveling. We are out of water. We want water to drink for our children and our livestock. Moses, give us water to drink. Moses looks around and he realizes that I don't know where I'm going to get enough water to give all of you to drink. God, why did you send me to lead these people? And the Lord says to Moses, take some of the elders and go. Take the staff that you use to uh, hit the Nile. Take the staff of you and go. And I will be standing on the rock and you will strike that rock for water to come. And Moses does what God tells him to do. And in the midst of them, the question that is asked, is God among us or not? Water flows out of the rock. God is among us. God will always be among us. God never leaves us nor forsake us because where will we be? The question that is asked, is God among us or not, is never asked when all is going well. Do we? I mean, when all is going well for you, do you ask that question? We always ask the question when life is giving us something else to do. When we just cannot make sense out of all that is going on, then we ask the question, Lord, what have I done? Or where is God? He is always there with us, even in the midst of life trials and tribulation. Is God among us or not? In order for God to show that he was among the Israelites, he gave them water out of rocks. God is among us. And he is going with us. As much as we are complaining and quarreling and all of these things, God is among us. And Moses went and did as God instructed him. And water came out and all of the people were able to drink and quench their thirst. They were able to see that God is among us. We may not be able to recognize what's going on and make sense of life trials and tribulation, but God is never absent from our lives. If he were, we haven't seen anything yet. Is God among us or not? So they wanted to drink and they got water and their thirst were quenched. Fast forward that. Here is someone else who needs water. She has come to get water at a time of the day when she is the only one coming to get water. Jesus and his disciples are on their way from Judea to Galilee, and Jesus chose to take the shortcut. Now, I don't know why he is taking the shortcut this time around, but he is taking the shortcut, and the shortcut that he is taking is going to lead him through soccer, the Samaritan city. Jews and Samaritans don't get along. If a Jewish person drank from the cup that a Samaritan drank out of, the person was contaminated. So you can understand why the woman is saying to Jesus, you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan, for water. Beyond that, you are male. you asking me, a female, What's wrong with you? Basically, that's what she's saying. I'm putting words in her mouth now, but never mind that. <laughs> she's wondering what's going on with this man. Jesus and his disciples have taken a shortcut and they are going through soccer. And here Jesus is sitting at Jacob's well. He's tired from his trial. This is again John's way of helping us make sense of Jesus' humanity. He doesn't want us to always see Jesus through his divinity. Jesus is tired. And so he is sitting and taking a break. It is noon time. The disciples are going to get food. I thought about this the other night. All 12 of them went to go get food. My gosh! All of them are gone. Jesus is left alone. And as he is sitting, this lady comes to get water. It is noon time. Stop and think for a moment. Who goes to get water when the sun is up? Except the one who goes to get water because she doesn't want to be confronted by the rest of the community. 
she goes to get water because she knows she cannot go, probably, in my opinion, with the rest of the people in the town because everybody knows her lifestyle. So she comes to get water and get out of the way before the rest of the people come. As she comes to get water, she's confronted by somebody else. You know, I was hoping to do it, but no one was there. Why are you sitting here? A Jew at that rate. Jesus is sitting there, and he engages her. Give me water to drink. Don't ask me, please. You know that Jews and Samaritans don't get along. Why would you be asking me? Jesus is not going to spend time with all of those issues. He's going to go straight to the heart of the issue. Go call your husband and tell him to come. I don't have a husband. Oh yeah, you're right. You don't have a husband. Because this is number six. You have five. And the one you're with right now is not the husband. What? Who are you? How did you know that? Are you a prophet? Never mind. Go call your husband. She and Jesus engage in a conversation that is going to take her from the place of wanting the water that Jesus is going to give her to run back to town and tell people to come and see the one who has told me everything. Jesus offers to give her living water. The people of Israel complain, is God among us or not? Moses, we want to drink. God showed up and they drank water out of the rock. Jesus now offers this woman living water. I will give you water so that you cannot thirst again. Oh yes, please give me the water so I don't have to come back to this well and be confronted by the town people. Give me this drink, Jesus, please, so that I will never thirst again. But Jesus doesn't give her the water, does he? It's going to come. The water of life. The water the living water of life is going to come when she realizes that the one she's talking to is God with us. The God who stood on a rock is now sitting before her. God with us. Go and call. No, she didn't go back to town to call her husband. She went back to town and told the people, come and see. She has a conversation with Jesus and she becomes an evangelist. She runs back to town and tells the people, come and see the one who has told me everything. Is God among us? Yes, he is. He is sitting at Jacob's well. Come and see him. God is among us, my brothers and sisters. Regardless of the situation you may be going through right now, God is among us. If God were not, where would you be? Where will we be? There are those days when you just cannot make sense of life. And you have to ask the question like the Jewish people. Is God among us? We want to drink. No water to drink. Is God among us? And the voice is saying, I am here. I've always been here. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And for God to display his presence among the Jewish people, water came out of the rocks. For God to display his presence to this woman who came, coming at a time when no one else would be at the well, just so she can get her water and get out of the way, she meets God sitting at the well. Give me a drink of water. What? Why would you ask me that? Because the one you're talking to, if he gives you water to drink, you would never thirst again. How have you come into this place this morning? What are those issues of life that you're wondering, how long will God take to deal with my concern? How long, oh God? How long? I don't know how long, but this much I know, I know the God who knows our concerns of life and is doing something about it. I wish I knew what he was doing. I will tell you, but I do not. <clears throat> but this much I know, God is among us. 
God is among us. He has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And so even when we look at life circumstances, when we look around us and we are almost bound to be hopeless, we still can say God is with us. When the search has gone on for days and you cannot find the plane because God knows where they are. God is among us. When Russia decides to do what they are doing, God is among us. When you and I look around and there's drive-by shooting, there's drug everywhere, there's alcohol everywhere, families are coming apart, God is among us. And then you say, is God among us and all of these things are happening? Yes, God is among us. God is among us. <laughs> Even in the midst of some of life tragedies, God is among us. Because were he not, we haven't seen anything yet. Where are you this morning? What are those issues you're wrestling with? Oh Lord, how long? Oh Lord, how long? I do not know how long. But I know God is among us. The one who sat at the well and offered this woman living water is still offering you and me living water. We will drink of Christ and it will well up in us spring of living water. We will drink of Christ and we'll find that peace that comes from him. We will drink of that water that Christ will give and we will be the one to run forth and tell the world, come and see the one who has given me living water. Come and see the one who loves the world so much that he gave his life. Come and see the one who gives hope to a hopeless life. Come and see. I don't know where you are this morning. But this much I know, I know the one who gives water that will well up in us a spring. I know the one who is among us even when all around us is sinking sand. I know the one who is with us and who will support us and hold us through life trials and tribulations. That one, that one is the Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. May we forever give him thanks and praise for his patience with us when we are impatient with ourselves and others. Amen. Amen.